A commercial resupply mission heads to the space station, watching Earth breathe from space, and dealing with the impact threat of near-Earth objects. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On May 4th, a SpaceX Dragon cargo spacecraft launched atop the company's Falcon 9 rocket to the International Space Station from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Inside the Dragon are supplies and critical materials to support dozens of the more than 250 science and research investigations scheduled to occur during Expeditions 59 and 60. Once attached to the station, the Dragon will stay there until late May when it will return to Earth with research and cargo. The Orbiting Carbon Observatory 3, or OCO3, instrument is among the research being delivered to the space station on the SpaceX Dragon. OCO3 will take advantage of the station's orbital inclination to measure and map atmospheric carbon dioxide in great detail. Data from it and its predecessor, OCO2, will paint the most detailed picture ever of human and plant influences on the carbon cycle and, in turn, climate, an interaction that NASA and others in the scientific community closely monitor. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein testified during a May 1st Senate hearing on NASA's 2020 budget request. Our budget supports a bold program of commercial lunar landers to send science tools and technology demonstrations to the moon. It also provides for development of human lunar landers in collaboration with commercial and international partners. On April 29th, Administrator Bridenstein delivered the keynote address at the International Academy of Astronautics 2019 Planetary Defense Conference near Washington, D.C. The five-day conference featured a fictional asteroid impact scenario designed to give conference participants the opportunity to simulate a response to a hypothetical asteroid impacting Earth. NASA experts also talked about the agency's first mission to demonstrate a technique to change the motion of an asteroid in space and other aspects of the nation's planetary defense program. A Future of Space Educational Forum, April 29th at NASA headquarters, provided an opportunity for college students to learn more about the agency's Moon to Mars exploration plans. NASA astronaut Tracy Dyson moderated a panel that included Administrator Bridenstine and other senior officials discussing our planned approach for going forward to the Moon. There were also video profiles highlighting what it is like to work at NASA and a live talk with our Nick Haig and Christina Cook aboard the International Space Station. NASA is working to send American astronauts to the moon's South Pole by 2024 to help lay the foundation that will eventually enable human exploration of Mars. During the final level of competition for our 3D printed Habitat Challenge, two teams combined creativity and cutting edge technology to manufacture sustainable shelters for deep space habitation during exploration missions, including to the moon and Mars. The multi-level challenge, which began in 2015, has a total prize purse of $3.15 million. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.